Today on the channel, we're going to learn how to play Working for the Weekend by Loverboy. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to learn how to play Working for the Weekend by Loverboy. If you're watching this video the day that it's coming out, it's Saturday. We made it. We finally made it to the weekend. It's Friday night when I'm filming this video and I'm excited for the weekend. So I thought, hey, let's learn Working for the Weekend by Loverboy. A uh, little bit different content for this channel, but you know, hey, we like to learn everything here on this channel regarding rock and roll and, and, uh, you know, classic metal and stuff like that. So we're gonna learn how to play this song today. It's a great song if you play in a cover band. It's a great song that gets good crowd reaction. And in general, I mean, heck, Loverboy was a powerhouse band in the early 80s. And to my knowledge, they're still touring today and uh, doing pretty good. So let's take a look at Working for the Weekend by Loverboy, all right? So this song's got some pretty cool riffs. I thought that um, on top of it being the weekend, or hey, if you're watching this video and it's in the middle of the week, the weekend's approaching us, right? So we're working for the weekend. So it's applicable regardless of when you watch it. But this song has got some pretty cool riffs in it and they're fun to play. Whether you're new to guitar or you're experienced at playing guitar, this is a fun song to jam on. So let's take a look at it. We'll go over the chord structure of the song and then we'll go over uh, a couple really cool uh, riffs that are in this tune, right? That you might be able to use in some other tunes or incorporate in your playing uh, elsewhere. So the song here uh, starts in, in B. So we're running a basically a B power chord. And they're going to play this chord voicing that goes like this. So what I'm doing there is I'm taking the B power chord and I'm gonna lower my ring finger down to the second or the third fret on the D string. And I'm gonna play the, the second fret on the A and the D. So if I take the distortion off of it, it sounds like. Really sinister sounding, right? Sounds pretty heavy. So what I'm doing is I'm palm muting with the side of my hand. I've got my hand on the bridge of the guitar. So when you pick, pick the chord, then you, you mute it with your palm. So we're going. Slowly. And then this riff, which is open E, first fret on the E string, second fret, then open A, and then we go open, first, second, and then second fret on the A. It's kind of like a metallic riff. Who knew that, uh, you know, Loverboy influenced Metallica, you know? So <laughs> anyway, so. repeats that several times throughout the song, but that's how it, it starts off, okay? Then the verse part is just basically we're going to chug between the B and then the G. Then we're going to go B, G sharp, and then to an E. Then repeat. Now 
if you notice, I've got accents on these chords, so when we're palm muting it. opens up into this huge chorus where he changes to D major. We just, we just hold that chord out. And that's when he's singing, everybody is working for the... And then a G. The G chord. The weekend. And then he goes... It sounds like he does like this. Which I'm, if you want to do that, it's open E, second fret, second, third, fifth, third, fifth, then D. You can just stay on the G. And he goes back to everybody needs a second up to the A. Everybody's going out the deep end. Everybody needs a new romance. And back to the beginning. You want a piece of my All right, cool. Now there's this little solo part. So what I'm doing there is I'm in the key of, um, I'm playing an E minor scale, but it's G major. All right, so we're going to start on the low G. We're going to jump up an octave. So this, this G right there on the low E on the third string. And we're going to jump to the octave, which is on the D string on the fifth fret. So it's going to do this little gallop. We're going to go right down the G scale. So without the chugging and the horse gallop, we just play it straight before we get to the, the little complicated thing. Then it goes. So it's like a call and response phrase. The first half. And the third time it does the first first uh, response phrase. And then it goes. It resolves up there, right? Up to an F sharp. And then when we do the little chug part, remember the melody is. So we do the chug. And so what I'm doing on that chug is I start on the downstroke, I do two downstrokes, and I gallop, which is alternate. And then everything is down picks. I down pick the rest of that. So that gallop to get that right. It's a down stroke, and then we go down and alternate. You could alternate pick the rest of that riff. I've down picked it for my, like my whole life, so I can't really do it. <laughs> A 
little bit of vibrato there. <laughs> Okay, now there's the, the last little riff. He's got this thing that he goes. Okay, so what we're doing there is, is very simple. We're taking our ring finger and our middle finger we're going to put it on the 12th fret on the B and the G string. And I'm going to turn the distortion down, the gain down here. So we're going to play this. It's basically a, a G major chord or an E minor. Then we're going to bring our G string down half a fret. Back up, both on the 12th. The ring finger stays on the 12th the whole time, and the G, the middle finger on the G goes from the 12th to the 11th. And then we go. Now what a lot of guys won't tell you is this finger is the most important finger because I'm holding this finger across the strings. So I can go as I'm doing this, and it sounds like. So I'm hitting all these strings, but I'm only fretting the B and the G string, so it sounds like. You know, a lot of pro players don't tell you that stuff because either they don't want to tell you their secrets or they just take it for granted that everybody knows these little tips. You learn this stuff as you play live and you play for years and it becomes kind of just second nature. So a lot of I think a lot of teachers may skip these little details. Alright, cool. Then he goes. Awesome. So that's working for the weekend, man. Basically, your chords for the verse, the chords for the chorus, and then your little solo parts, and then that little that bridge, that little chimey thing that we just did. And, uh, you know, good luck. Try to get those harmony vocals down, back up your lead singer, work on those, those major high thirds above the melody, <laughs> and practice your vocals, because if you're going to be a great lead guitar player, learning backup vocals is important, and you got to work those vocals. So don't be scared to sing along to this song and try to play it as well. So anyway, hope you like this kind of content. If you do, please consider subscribing. And as always, have a great day. Peace out.